Hey, what's up everyone? This is Cora's Miles Wade. I'm here at Glen Devere Golf Course in Portland, Oregon, a day away from Nike Cross Nationals, the biggest meet on the calendar over the cross country season. Now, as you can see behind me, we have athletes that are gonna run tomorrow, NXN. They're getting a view of their starting blocks and a sense of the course. But in the meantime, we're gonna give you our own preview. Keep tuned. One thing to keep in mind on Saturday is that it's going to be muddy and wet. It's obviously going to be rainy on Saturdays, so athletes might not have their best races. It might not be super fast, but we're going to have some premier performances. And let's talk about the girls' race where North Rockland's Caitlin Tui out of New York, she is the favorite in this race, but she's going to have quite a contest. McKinney Norris, Lennon Colbert from Texas is definitely going to be up there with her. Caitlin Hart from Glenbar West in Illinois as well. And we also got Emily Cover from Minnesota. A lot of great girls are gonna compete with Caitlin Tui for possibly a win. But Brian is gonna talk about the boys next. Here we are at the two mile mark where they've already made the first full loop. They're on to the second. Now, Corey already did the girls individuals. I'm gonna talk about the boys individuals. We have to talk about Brody Hasty. He's been undefeated. He's raced three races all year, but he is the clear and heavy favorite. But guys who could challenge him, Danny Kilray, James Mara from the West Coast, also running undefeated all year on the West Coast. This is gonna be a huge matchup. We could also see Dustin Hoarder, Alex Nair possibly from Texas. There's a lot of great guys that are throwing down. Now I'm gonna throw it to Corey though, and he's gonna talk about the girls team race. All right, and we just gotta break down the girls team competition. We gotta start with Fayetteville Manlius out of New York. They've won 10 of the last 11 NXN titles. They are the favorite here, but they gotta watch out for a California team, Great Oak. Probably their, their best competition at this meet, but Great Oak's coach, Doug Souls, did say earlier on Friday that it's gonna be hard for this team to compete with the conditions right here. Grass, wet, muddy. New York's battled on muddy courses all year long. They, on their state championship course, it was muddy all the way around. So FFM definitely has an advantage here, but we also have Wayzata girls and the Naperville North girls to, to keep an eye on. Those two programs have been really great all season long. Wayzata's had a really great November, so they could be a sleeper pick to win it all. So stay tuned for Brian on the boys team. Here we are at the finish line of the NXN meet. Now, the boys team battle. That's gonna be mostly between Loudoun Valley and Great Oak. Loudoun Valley has been undefeated on the East Coast. Great Oak undefeated on the West Coast, going head to head for the first time this entire season long. Now, Loudoun Valley has a strong one-two punch in Sam Affolder and Peter Morris, where the Great Oak guys are gonna rely on their strong depth and talent there. Teams that could sneak up and get them though, Wyzada, Downers Grove, Fayetteville Manlius, CBA. This whole field is so stacked. This could be anybody's race. We're excited for it, going down tomorrow. Keep everything locked, milesplit.com for results, photos, interviews, and more.